good afternoon and it is afternoon <laughs> uh, last night I was up uh, until two o'clock uh, editing the video that you guys will well that I'll have uploaded prior to this one um, and in that video uh, well that video was just a training training run it wasn't uh, yeah it wasn't a usual recce run like I've been doing recently it was just a bog standard training run turned out to be about 13 miles 13.6 miles and it took my weekly elevation over 2,000 meters which I was pretty happy about but in that video I mentioned quite a few times um, oh my word <laughs> I love getting cut up don't you <laughs> uh, yeah so in that video I mentioned quite a few times that I you know I strength training has uh, really benefited my um, my running my fell running specifically um, improved on my downhills and yeah so I thought today I would bring you along for a little strength session um, what day is it today it's Monday so we're at the beginning of the week so I've had a look at my roster for work because um, I work as a an A and E nurse in a local A and E, uh, and so I get my roster. Uh, I check it out generally, and I look to see when I can get strength work in. When I when I also look at you know when can I get a good run in? Maybe I've got a day or two off. Then I think, oh yeah, well hopefully I'll look at the look at what days I've got off. Then I kind of keep my fingers crossed for good weather, and then I just go for it. So that's generally how I plan my kind of like training is I you know plan it around work and then of course I plan it around just life in general really so and that's how it works for me so today I've got the day off and started late obviously because I was up last night or up until this morning two o'clock editing the video uh, that I have just uploaded on that training run I just mentioned so today now it's what's well, just gone two o'clock and we're heading down to the gym so what am I going to do today in the gym? Uh, I mentioned in the last video a few times that bilateral compound movement like squats, a barbell back squats really sorted me out. Uh, today I'm going to do some Zercher squats. So that's with a barbell. For those of you that don't know, that's a, a squat with a barbell held out in front of you in the crook of your arms. Probably I might even throw in the slant board, uh, the slant board on, uh, on one of the legs just to kind of get my, get my knee over my toe because I've been really, I found that really beneficial. I've been following a chap, uh, many of you might have already heard of this guy. He's imag imaginatively called knees over toe guy. <laughs> I think I first heard about him listening to a Joe Rogan podcast. So, um, and yes, I do occasionally listen to Joe Rogan. <laughs> Yeah, so I got into and I just checking out his stuff and I'll be honest, I haven't signed up to his uh, knees over toe program. I've just been um, poaching stuff off the internet and just basically going, you know, doing that basically. So getting ideas off the internet. Um, it's really benefited me actually, doing the whole knees over toe thing. So that's what we're going to do, some sort of squat. Uh, then also maybe a bit of... Um, uh, core exercise. Uh, so I have a steel mace, which you may have noticed. I love the steel mace. Uh, I don't generally go for clubs, um, but a steel mace or a garter, uh, it's great exercise, really good for sh shoulder mo mobility. Exercise is your uh, transverse, um, is that the right term? Transverse uh, movements, basically. So it's twisting and turning and stuff like that. So that really helps with uh, core stability. So I'll obviously throw those in because I also I just love them. They're great fun. I really enjoy them. Much like using a kettlebell, but it's like a kettlebell on the end of a stick, basically. Uh, I use kettlebells as well. I'll probably throw some of them in. I might throw a kettlebell exercise in. I might grab the sandbag as well. I do like the sandbag for getting a full uh, spinal flexation. So bending over. I mean, everyone bangs on about how, how you've got to keep your back straight and stuff like that, but your back is actually designed to bend. <laughs> so I found sandbag exercises are great for that. It's like the, um, it's like the old um, strongman 
exercises and stuff. So, so I might throw a sandbag in. However, uh, the gym I go to, they store the sandbags um, in the hallway, not in the main, not in the main exercise hall. And as much as I like using the sandbag, it's a real pain in the ass putting it away. <laughs> and I am a bit of a lazy bugger sometimes. I'm like, oh god, I got to put this sandbag away, and I've just beasted myself with it. So, but yeah, I might use that. I might use a sandbag. And then I might do some sort of like push exercise uh, with a kettlebell. So, and what I generally do is I'll um, I'll try a couple of exercises out sometimes if I'm just feeling a bit creative. I'll do them and I think, okay, right now I'm going to throw that into a little mini circuit. So once I've done a few exercises, I might have done a uh, a mace swing, a kettlebell uh, push, uh, you know, clean or whatever it is, um, some squats, maybe a bit of a sandbag. Then I'll put all the all those exercises and I'll do a, a circuit of four rounds, basically. I just kind of make it up and go as, yeah, make it up as I go. But I, um, what's this guy doing? I do have a plan. That's the thing. I think one of the secrets if you're going to go to the gym and you're kind of new to it and it's not really your thing but you're doing it because you've heard that oh strength exercises are great for runners and I'm more of a runner than I am a gymmer it's imperative really that you have a plan a strength plan um, because then you know what you're doing and you don't feel quite so lost when you go to the gym and by having a plan you can see progression which is important um, but I'm, I'm at that stage now that I do have a plan. Uh, my plan generally revolves around my squats and I see progression in that. But sometimes I just like going to the gym and being a little creative and mixing it up a bit. So that's what we'll do. I, I think that's what will happen for this uh, little gym session. And they generally last about an hour and a half, maybe two hours. Depends on uh, what I get up to. Um, I tend not to, I don't like, don't like wasting time so I'll do um, I time myself between sets basically uh, to keep myself on track um, and of course sometimes I get into the gym and I just don't have any mojo so I'll just push myself um, to a certain point to just get something in and then I'll just concede defeat and um, you know at least I've got an hour in you know I haven't just uh, just decided, no, I'm not going to the gym. I'm just going to sit at home and do nothing, you know, because that doesn't do you, that, that that doesn't benefit anybody, especially me. So, <laughs> yeah, and that's it. That's the plan for uh, this afternoon. We're just going to do probably about a one a one and a half hour strength session with a couple of creative exercises. Yeah, and here we are. We're at the gym. Didn't take long, did it? <laughs> So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll just park up and uh, we'll pop in and uh, see, what the, uh, see what the session brings us.
cool. So that's us done in the gym. Um, yeah, to kind of go over what I did there, it was a bit kind of haphazard, if I'm totally honest. Uh, what I did, like I, like I mentioned before we got in the gym, today is just going to be a bit of a creative gym session. And so I was just basically trying out a few things. As you saw there, mainly the Zercher squats, which I've never done before. I've done, they're very similar to say doing a kettlebell goblet squat, but the thing with the, uh, the barbell and doing the Zercher squat is you can load up the weight. Um, I mean, of course you can get yourself a really heavy kettlebell. I think at home, the heaviest kettlebell I've got is a 42 kilogram, I think it is. It's, uh, it's horrible. <laughs> it really, it really is a horrible, a horrible torture, device of torture. But the Zercher squats, I really like those actually. I'm definitely going to incorporate those in uh, more regularly as, uh, as part of a strength um, program. The great thing about them is, as you probably, as you saw, I got, a, I got into a really deep squat with them. And so you can really, you can really hit your glutes. You're more upright, uh, which is good. And you're fighting, of course, the barbell from push, pulling you forward. So it's a really good uh, core exercise as well. With a low bar or a low back, a low back barbell, barbell low, a low, low back, oh geez, a low bar. <laughs> what am I trying to tell you? Basically when you're doing a back squat, I like the bar low. And of course it's a lot easier and you don't really have to uh, engage your core quite as much as you do with the Zercher squats there. And so they're mainly an upper back and core. You really do work those. And so uh, the most I, I managed to get 50 kilograms on that bar doing those Zercher squats. And that was the top end of my capabilities, if I'm totally honest. Really good. So basically, I would summarize today's little gym session as more core strength. I did the Zercher squats, which were great for, um, great for engaging my core. Obviously only in a, in a sagittal plane, not transverse, twisting or anything like that. It was just a straight up sagittal plane. I think I've got that right. Then of course I did the, uh, after the back squats, it was pull-ups. I always try and incorporate pull-ups in an exercise because I, I, you know, I want good upper body strength. And I've always been rubbish at pull-ups if I'm totally honest. Um, as you saw there as well, of course, I've got special pull-up kind of grips. They, uh, they, they basically, it's, it's, to, it's so you kind of follow the natural uh, physiological, uh, what's the word? I don't know, what am I trying to say? And they're a lot more, na it's, it, it's a lot easier on your joints, basically, is what I'm trying to say. If you're just using the bar, and you're doing a traditional overhand grip. Uh, I find I've, I find a bit of stress in my elbows and forearms. And so by doing those, um, and they're obviously, a, yeah, they are pull-ups and they hit your biceps a lot more than they do your back. Of course, I do occasionally throw in an over, overhand uh, fixed bar pull-up. And then after the pull-ups, we went into the sandbag shoulder throws those are horrible. <laughs> yeah, so 10 of those, five over each shoulder. They're, they're also great for uh, core strength, explosive power. Yeah, they're great. The sandbag's an awesome piece of gear for just basically good functional strength, functional fitness. It, you know, it's basically, it's the, these, these are all the kind of actions that your body does on a natural basis. You know, when you're picking stuff up, you're squatting down, you pick stuff up, this, that, and the other. I love the sandbag. I don't use it enough. Uh, today I decided to throw it in. And then the sandbag was followed by, yeah, some Steel Mace 360s, which also great for uh, transverse plane core conditioning and strength. That's it. So yeah, today's session, those four exercises, once I got into my head, ah, I'm gonna do these four in this order, I then did three sets 
I mean, of course, generally I do four sets of anything, but, but by the time I figured out that I was going to do three sets of those exercises in, those, in that order, I'd done each exercise about three or four times already, so I a pretty good workup. I mean, that whole, ec that whole gym session took just under two hours, which is quite long, if I'm totally honest. But for me, the way it works out for my work, I generally go to the gym when I've got a day off. I can't squeeze it in after work because I work 13 hour shift. So generally, I go to the gym when I got the day off and I've got pretty much, you know, I've got, I've got the time to experiment and to kind of take my time and chill, chill a bit. If I want to do a really good hit workout, I haven't, I don't generally do hit sessions, if I'm totally honest. Uh, I should throw them in occasionally because it's really good to kind of stress your heart and get it up high occasionally. But um, yeah, I haven't done a hit workout for a while. But yeah, so I generally do just kind of like a conditioning exercise um, circuit like you saw there. I do get my heart up, of course, those sandbags, that sandbag, geez, that gets it up quite seriously so yeah that's it that that was today's gym session i hope you uh i hope you got something from it <laughs> of course if you've got any questions do let me know i'm not a i'm not a uh, professional trainer or anything like that i uh, i've always used the gym i've always been doing exercise for one reason or another i mean past careers you know that I've had you know it's all it's part and parcel of what you do basically so it's it's not so much for me going to the gym isn't it's it's part of yes yeah, I guess it's part of who I am and what I do I love I love going to the gym if I'm totally honest I just like like a good workout uh, it, uh yeah I feel good basically so I've always done it so it's never something that I've I've begrudged if you will so I like getting creative hence uh, you saw that steel mace uh, I got into those probably about a year, two years ago now, I think it was, when uh, I was kind of building a bit of a home gym and I wanted uh, kind of an exercise. I mean, I got into kettlebells a couple of years before that and then I'd seen these steel maces. I, I don't know where I saw them. I think I saw them on, uh, uh, on, on Instagram or YouTube or something like that. Or I googled uh, exercises for uh, transverse core strength exercises or something like that and the steel mace popped up and I thought oh those look interesting and uh, when I when I got one I got the lightest weight and it felt so weird to use it just it's just an odd an odd piece of gear it's basically a kettlebell on the end of a stick and it just felt odd but now they're great second nature using it and I've got really good shoulder mobility now because I did have an impingement in my right shoulder from crashing a motorbike um, and it's really fixed that out but yeah and I love them. So I'm the only weirdo who takes his own steel mace into the gym. <laughs> My gym doesn't have them. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting a wooden handled um, loadable mace. I'm um, getting that ordered from Germany. Um, I'll be getting that soon. So I'll, t I'll be taking that to the gym. And of course, I'll probably show you guys what it is. Uh, that's really cool. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, but yeah, Anyway, I'm going to stop waffling because I've been going on a bit now, so uh, you're probably bored out of your mind. <laughs> I'm on my way to the supermarket now before I go home. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Yeah, until the next video. Cheers. Thanks.